Hey YouTubers, it's Vaxxin. Today I'm doing a video guide on packing for a convention. If you're a new con-goer, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed. What do I bring to a con? What if I forget something? How do I make sure that I have everything I need? Never fear, after attending cons for years, I've gotten packing down to a science, so I'm going to share some of those tips with you now. First off is make a checklist of everything you need, and I mean everything. If it's something that you think you can't forget, like underwear or your phone, write it down. What I do is organize my list in categories. I have a different column for each of my costumes, a column for normal clothes, rave clothes, hygiene, makeup, and essentials like chargers and wallets. And I only cross something off the list once something is packed away in my suitcase. Aw oh, sweet, I found my wig! Well, I guess I can check this off the list. But wait a minute, I have to look for other stuff too, so I'm just gonna put this down right here. Well, time to head to the con! Don't let this be you! Bring stuff to wear out of cosplay too, even if you don't think you'll need it. It's better to be prepared, and you probably will need it anyway. This includes comfortable sleeping clothes and travel clothes. Bring deodorant. Bring deodorant. This goes for you, and you too, everyone. We are all walking around for days in a hot, crowded convention center. We are all dirty and sweaty and stinky. I know this, you know this. But guess what? No one else has to. Apply deodorant daily, and don't forget to shower. Don't forget to pack wig caps. One thing that can be a lifesaver is bringing a cosplay repair kit with you. Items in the kit can include things like fabric glue, small scissors, thread and needles, hairspray, and hair glue, etc. These things can really save you in a pinch. One hack about packing Fabri-Tac. If the Fabri-Tac has been opened before, tape the cap shut, especially if you're flying. Fabri-Tac is notorious for leaking out and ruining wigs and costumes and suitcases, and the air pressure when you're flying makes it even more likely. So tape it shut around this part here, and also around this part here, because sometimes it twists off and you don't want to be dealing with that. Keep all your cosplay makeup in one easy-to-find bag or container. I personally have a little portable suitcase for it. If you're familiar with contact lenses, you know that most contact cases are not leak-proof. To avoid a mess, pack your contacts in a sealable plastic bag. Go through your list and ask yourself if you need any items to go with something else that you're bringing. For example, if you'll be wearing makeup, bring makeup removal wipes. If you're bringing contacts, pack contact solutions, saline, eye drops, etc. Does your wig need clips, bobby pins, spirit gum? Are you planning on wearing anything under your costume like tights, corsets, body slimmers, under armor, etc.? If you have a lot of costumes or lots of small parts to costumes, put them each in their own plastic bag and then label the bag. You can also have smaller bags for accessories. This way, you won't be digging around for 15 minutes trying to find a lost earring in your suitcase. Wrap delicate props in plenty of bubble wrap. Make sure everything you need can fit in your suitcase before the day you're leaving for the con. Make sure to have all the info, tickets, and addresses you need on hand before you leave. Do you have the con address, the hotel address, your badge confirmation, your bus, train, or airplane ticket? It's good to have hard copies of all this info in case your phone dies or you can't find a Wi-Fi signal when you need one. Lastly, if you're taking public transportation, make sure you can carry everything, please. I have found myself in one or two situations where I had too much stuff to carry and I could not bring it all on the bus and I had to figure it out last minute and it was very stressful and not fun. I hope these tips can help you out. I know that they've been really helpful for me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any ideas on videos you wanna see, please comment below. Thank you.